Dr. Cleaver, how would you describe the current problem in America when it comes to young people and prescription drugs? It's the fastest growing problem among young people. Uh, it even has overtaken marijuana as the uh, drug of choice among many of our adolescents. When did this whole trend begin in your view? Well, I think the seeds for it were laid in the 90s. Uh, for many decades, uh, our country had undertreated pain. And then in the 90s, there was a big push to get doctors to prescribe more narcotics for pain. How addictive are these painkillers? Drugs like oxycodone, uh, hydrocodone, are, can be as addicting as heroin. So that uh, one out of four people who try them, not for pain, because you get a different response if you take it for pain than you do uh, just to alter your, uh, your mind or mood. Um, but one out of four who take it in order to alter themselves uh, may end up in trouble with it. Do you think people perceive using prescription drugs differently than street drugs like heroin, crack, marijuana? Absolutely. Uh, the uh, advantage of prescription drugs is uh, they're uh, medications that doctors prescribe. Therefore, people say, how bad or how dangerous can they be if the doctor is prescribing it? Two, they're made by uh, reputable manufacturers. So uh, you know, unless it's a total uh, counterfeit, you know that it, uh, the quality is there. And uh, that gives it a leg up on street drugs, because any time you buy a street drug, any time you buy heroin or cocaine or marijuana, you don't know how potent that is. How are they getting these pills to sustain their habit? babysitting uh, the medicine cabinet in your own home, medicine cabinet in a home of friends, uh, grandparents. You can rely on grandparents to have a whole batch of pills around. Um, so adolescents tend to get it that way. Um, and occasionally, you know, uh, on the street, but more often from those kind of sources and from friends. Uh, when you get to college, uh, you have a lot more in a way of students who are prescribed, uh, you know, the, the uh, stimulants, for example. And you have a lot more in a way of people selling it. Uh, people who get these medications, selling it to other students as a way of earning uh, more money. Uh, and they figure, well, I don't have any exams coming up, so uh, I don't need my, uh, my stimulant. So I could afford to sell 10 of them.